is there anyone among us not willing to experience the joy of fulfillment? Fulfillment is a feeling that erupts when we achieve our dreams, ambitions, our goals. How do we derive the highest form of fulfillment? Toastmaster, today. fellow Toastmasters, is that my guest? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Tom Robbins says, only those who have the power to sincerely and selflessly contribute for others' welfare enjoy the deepest life's deepest fulfillment. It's a great feeling when you have that sense of fulfillment. When people around you recognize the joy manifolds. When the Almighty responds, mere words cannot explain the true sense of fulfillment. Those are the ones who take a pledge or a promise to create a difference in the lives of others. To illustrate the power of promise, I would like to take you through a personal story. My maternal grandfather had six daughters and two sons. He was having a house with a backyard, few cows and an agricultural land, all on lease. During his lifetime, he married off three of his daughters. My eldest uncle, he started employed in railways as a clerk. He was aged 24. It was this very day, 53 years ago, 14 December 1960, my grandfather was on the deathbed. He was sure that he would not survive to fulfill his commitments towards the other three daughters and one son, aged 17, 12, 10 and 6 respectively. That day he could not sleep. The next day morning he called all of them. He asked to take a promise. He was deeply entrenched in overpowering emotion, sobbed and said to my uncle, son, I am not leaving behind a fortune, but a debt of rupees thousand and your sisters and brother. It is your duty to take care of them. Will you? My uncle said, yes, I will. Then he placed his left palm and then my grandma kept her left palm then followed by my uncle and all the brothers and sisters they kept over that, my, grand, my uncle kept his right palm, followed by my grandma and my grandfather. With that, he handed over the burden. He was having a guilt that he was handing over the burden to the young shoulders. He literally caressed him gently from top to toe, sobbed, blessed him and breathed. Is lost. From that moment onwards, their intense struggle started from cremation. My uncle had to feed five of them, including the mother, tend to their education, save for the future and marriage as well. He was deeply rooted towards the family cause. Because they had agricultural land, few cows, milk, vegetables, and rice were sufficiently available for all of them. But cash was always in great demand and juggling with different compelling needs was always a Herculean task for him. But still he was committed towards that. It is our custom that invariably the daughters visit the parents' places for delivering the babies. Rarely a year passed by without one of the sisters turning out for delivering the baby. For every vacation, we nephews and nieces used to throng their house and we used to take a great care of us. Misfortune flogged towards him. <coughs> One of his sisters lost her husband and another was struggling to make both ends meet. He was partly supporting them as well. <coughs> 
few years later, he paid off the debt and over a period of time, he married off all the sisters one by one. His brother completed graduation and took up employment. After 22 years of struggle, on 9th May 1983, he married off his last sister. Normally, when the Mangal Sutra is tied, the emotions flare up. That day, the emotions were at the peak. The entire family was crying in pain, jubilation and in ecstasy. In one such emotional outbursts, my eldest aunt embraced my uncle and said, Brother, you have fulfilled the promise. Today, our father's soul will rest in peace. He, she continued and vehemently said, If my brother is a protector of promise and truth, today it should rain. Everyone was shocked to hear that. Because it was the month of May, peak summer, and rain on that day was unheard of. Further, there were no symptoms of rain. When it rains, it's not mere shower of rain. It's shower of blessings from the Almighty. And especially when someone commands it, if it rains, it's considered a great omen. That day, believe me, it rained. It was not a drizzle. It rained like cats and dogs and everyone was astonished. I was there to witness. A great promise was fulfilled. A woman commands it to rain. And the Almighty responds, approves it with a thunderous shudder in the heart. You would have seen such spectacular moments. You would have read and heard in stories and epics. But for the first time, I witnessed it in my life. Postmasters, believe me, this is not an exaggeration. How many times we strive to keep our promises? A great promise was fulfilled by none other than my beloved uncle. He is a real hero in our family. Behind this word hero, how many compromises, stressed moments and sacrifices? No doubt. He is adored by all of us. Life is better when you are happy. But life is at its best when someone is happy because of you. How many times we keep our promises? Be it a simple promise, those masters promise, or a promise to turn up, promise to pay, or a great promise at the time of wedding, like <coughs> to unconditionally love and stay together amidst happiness and sorrow till death parts us. How many take care of their parents? Is this not the default? Is this not the promise by default? Remember Toastmasters. The promise is not the spare bill that you will pull out when you are in trouble. Instead, it is the steering wheel that will direct your right path. If you are sincere and selfless, altruistic in contributing, then even God will honor us. Come what may, come what may, honor your commitments, honor your promises. Will you? Yes. What do you do?